This is what most Americans innocently put into their bodies these days and most alarmingly into the bodies of their children. And it's no coincidence that Americans die earlier than Canadians or Germans or Italians or Japanese or Koreans or Australians or most any other comparable country. And it wasn't always that way until the early 1990s. Our life expectancy was the same or better than other developed countries. And then suddenly, more and more Americans began suffering from chronic diseases, from obesity, cancer, diabetes, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, heart disease, and all kinds of autoimmune diseases. Our maternal mortality rate soared to the highest of any developed country on earth. Same with infant mortality. Like the frog in the slowly boiling water, we didn't really notice as we got sicker and sicker. We've grown now to accept chronic disease conditions as normal. But now, in 2024, we're finally waking up to this cataclysm and we're asking ourselves, how in the world did this happen? A big part of it is our diet. Restaurants that serve contaminated food are fined or shut down. But when it's the government that approves the poisons in our food, a few people get very, very rich and the toxins end up in every supermarket aisle. Let me show you what I mean. Doritos, Cheez-Its, Cap'n Crunch, gummy bears. Everyone knows that these are junk foods, so maybe you wouldn't be too surprised to see that the ingredients include a lot of poisons, including a harmful yellow dye called tetrazine, or yellow dye number five. What you may not know is that this dye was originally made out of the sludge that's left over when you turn coal into coke for blast furnaces. It's called coal tar, and I've actually sued many big industries for legacy contamination of coal tar all around the country because it's so toxic and it's so harmful to the environment and human beings. A century ago, it was just an obnoxious industrial byproduct that everybody was trying to figure out ways to get rid of. One of the ways that they did that was by paving roads. But then a British chemist figured out that the coal tar could be used to derive fabric dye. And if fabric dye, why not food? Food manufacturers began using it to cover up the discoloration of low quality foods that they wanted to pass off on unsuspecting customers. They didn't know back then that this yellow dye, tartrazine, causes tumors, asthma, developmental delays, neurological damage, ADD, ADHD, hormone disruption, gene damage, anxiety, depression, intestinal injuries. Well, we know it now. We've known this for decades. That's why tartrazine is heavily restricted in other countries. In some countries, foods with tartrazine have a warning label that it may cause AD. in children. Today it's made from petroleum, not coal tar. Either way, it's crazy to add this to your kid's favorite foods. It doesn't even change the flavor. This yellow dye isn't just in junk food. It's in the foods that we consider healthy. It's in everyday kids' snacks like popcorn, mac and cheese, fruit snacks. It's in sports drinks like Gatorade and so-called vitamin water. It's even added to chicken broth, to corn, to pickles, to mustard, and to yogurt. And so, of course, our kids get sick, and we lovingly feed them chewable vitamins, which have, surprise, tartrazine. And so the cycle continues until the coughs and asthma kick in, at which point you go to pick up some cough syrup. And yeah, you guessed it, tartrazine. I've been picking on tartrazine today, but that's just one of at least 100 chemical poisons that our health agencies allow into our children's food. I can make a video just like this to talk about Red 40, BHA, BHD, potassium bromate, chemical after chemical, and on and on and on. If just one of them can cause all of these problems, imagine what they're doing in combination. That has never been studied. If we took all of these chemicals out, our nation would get healthier immediately. We'd have fewer sick days. We'd have better focus. We'd have less anxiety. Our kids would learn more easily. We'd lose weight we'd have more energy, we'd have fewer tumors and longer lives. It's not all dark.